Hello friends, today we will start with record triggered flows. We have already finished screen flows and learned about how to send an email, how to create a record, update the related record and many more things. So let's start with the record triggered flow. Let's learn briefly about what is a record triggered flow and then we will do practically, do hands on on record triggered flow. Okay. So what is the basic difference between a screen flow and record triggered flow? It is in the screen flow, there is an interaction with the user. Like this is a screen flow. Here there is an intervention of the end user. But in the record flow, everything is automatically. So this is getting auto launched. Okay. For example, we have created a new account record. Suppose we create a new account record, then we can trigger a record trigger flow. This is the scenario. Okay. Suppose I want that whenever a new record is created on the account object, I want to do a particular thing like sending an email to a user that a new record is created or I want to update a particular field of this record. So this can be achieved using record triggered flow. Okay. So we will select a record triggered flow here. You can also see launches when a record is created, updated or deleted. So this is an auto launch flow. This is the first type of auto launch flow which we will learn. Then we will learn about what is the scheduled triggered flow which launches at a particular time. We set a time. Okay. So in the record trigger flow, first of all, what we need to specify is for which object. We need to trigger this flow for which object. Okay, so let's select the account object that I want. Whenever new account is created, then this flow should trigger. Okay. And then we need to configure it that when should it trigger the flow? Whenever a new record is created, updated or deleted. Okay. So Suppose I want that whenever already existing record is updated, then only perform a particular action or updating the record. Then we will choose this one, updated. Okay. And these are the entry conditions. These are the most important thing. Okay. Suppose I want that not just the, it, it's not like whenever a new record is created, the flow should be triggered. It should be triggered only when a particular condition is satisfied. For example, in the account record, it should fire only when a new account record is created, but the type should be customer channel. Okay. So then what we will do in the field, we will set type as customer channel. So that flow doesn't fire every time whenever a new account record is created. So this is very important and we should always specify the entry conditions so that flow doesn't run without any reason because it wastes a lot of resources. Okay. Then this thing optimize the flow for these are the two sub parts of the record trigger flow. Okay. Suppose I, my requirement is that whenever a new account record is created, I need to update a particular field. Okay. Of that particular record only. For example, if I create a new record and I set the condition as type is equal to customer direct okay then i want to update the ownership of that record to public okay so we can do it using fast field updates you can also see you can always refer the description which sales have given it's very easy to understand okay so it's written update fields on the record that triggers the flows to run okay so these happens before the record is saved as you can see, before the record is saved, the flow will trigger and it will update the value of that ownership field to public whenever a new record is created and the condition met is true that the customer direct is the account type. So this is it. And the second type actions and related records. So this type of record trigger flow is used that in the scenario, like for example, I want to send an email notification to a particular, suppose a manager that attention a new account record is created okay so in that case we will use the second one you can also see it's written update any record and perform actions like sending an email okay so that's the basic difference so in the next video i will show you how to send an email how to trigger an email notification to a user whenever a new record is created so we will see that also we will see how to use an email template Okay. Follow me on LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn handle. You will find the link in the description as well.
also you can search simply on linkedin by anirudh garg okay so and this is my trail blazer profile so if you are yet to sign up for trail ad then please sign up it's a very helpful tool to learn sales force and do hands on challenges so you can follow me here as well we can connect here as well let me once navigate you to the youtube playlist dedicated to sales force okay so i was i just want to tell you that i am sales force certified administrator as well as cpq specialist okay so uh, it would be great if you complete the cpq certification i will try to help you in that okay so you can see you can navigate to the sales force section and you will find this playlist will have all the sales force videos irrespective of the topics and then these are the sub topics like sales force flows this playlist dedicated to sales force flows and this is for sales force cpq which we are currently doing and these playlists please make sure to save this playlist because i will keep them up, updated and do subscribe our channel for the upcoming updates also you can join our whatsapp channel you will find the link on your screen as well as in the description for latest updates thanks for watching